How old were you when you had your son? 16. Let me tell you a little bit about Shantae that you don't know. Shantae is 19 years old. She has been entertaining for six years. Yeah, about six years now. And um, it's not as easy as people think it is. Entertaining is not all about the autographs and the selling records and the doing shows and everything like that. Entertaining is a hard job because it's a very hard job to entertain. It's the same thing as if you give a birthday party for someone and you want everyone to show up. You know, that's hard when you're trying to get a party together or whatever. And that's what I do. I party for a living. So in my spare time, I don't listen to any rap music. I listen to reggae, calypso, stuff like that. And I listen to old R&B. And I think the reason why I do that is because I more so raised myself in that era. When I say raised myself, I left home at a very young age. And I haven't returned since. And um, I'm not encouraging other girls to leave home. Don't think that if you leave home, you're going to make a record and you're going to have a house and you're going to have a son and everything's good. I'm not, there's no way that I'm encouraging that, but I'm just telling you about me. Um, I never went back home. I started making records. I thank God for Tyrone Williams. He's my manager and he's also like my dad because you need boundaries. Everyone needs boundaries. Don't think that your parents set boundaries for you because they don't want you to do those things. Those boundaries set your morals. In order for you to grow up and be a lady, you have to be raised by a lady. And if there's no lady around, then you don't know how to be a lady. So you set your own boundaries, which makes you think that, well, this is what you think a lady should do, so that's what you got to do. And that's what I think. I got pregnant with my son at a very young age, which is a very common story all around the world. I'm not going to just say here in the United States or here in New York or whatever. But um, I got pregnant at a very young age, and my son's three now. I got pregnant at 16, and I'm a single mom. Being a single mom is not fun. It puts a lot of strain on you because you have to be provider, you have to be mommy, you have to be daddy, you have to be mother, and you have to be father. And um, the reason why you, it's, it's just hard to explain. I really never had to explain it before, or really never had to talk about it before. But um, I thought that I should, because I've noticed that teenage pregnancy has risen, and the reason why it has risen is because young brothers sell drugs, they mess with young girls, young girls get pregnant, young brothers, they can afford to have the baby, but the money and the materialistic part of it, that's not it. It's not all about the materialistic part of it. Babies take a lot of time. It's not the nine months, it's not the $400 Prica stroller, you know what I'm saying? It's not the little rings, it's not that. It takes time. You got the teething, the getting up in the middle of the night. You have all of that, because you have more on this earth to think of than yourself. It's not the nice room. See, materialistically, I par se, par se, I have it going on. Which means that I am able to shop for my son and he has all the nice sneakers and all the nice clothes and you think he looks cute when you see him in the magazines and everything like that. But you don't know the behind the scenes parts, you don't know the parts of when he might get a fever or when I'm on tour and the run around trying to find a 7-Eleven so I can get Pampers and this and that and, and being on tour with everyone and somebody picks him up and you're wondering who picked him up and where he went. We can try to